Thanks for bringing T-Bob and me to Japan, Dad. Riding your super bullet train is totally awesome. Well, the train's owned by several people, Scott. I just invested a portion of the money needed, so that eventually we can incorporate a train with such technology in our country. Okay, Scott? Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to go see what's going on. Ooh, what happened? I want to know too. But first, could you get off of me? Raka! What's wrong, Koyo? Oh, Mr. Traka, I have been informed the entire city has lost its power. Perhaps a train caused a short. That's impossible, Koyo. The... Then how do you explain such a strange incident? I don't know. But I don't think the train's at fault. I am afraid the locomotive will have to be taken out of commission until an answer is found, Mr. Tracker. I understand. But I'm going to prove Bullet's a straight shooter. Our dream machine is almost ready for the big time. And I've given it a suitable name for its debut, Blackout. Well, what if opening night's a bomb? Nothing's lost. I never paid the Japanese inventor the two million for making it. That guy sure got a yen for money. Get it? A yen for money. <laughs> we get it, knucklehead. As you know, the blackout can suck up electricity from any object or machine, so I've had our vehicle specially insulated. Blackout can also shoot a high-voltage blast, destroying almost anything. You mean it's a dead end for anything that stands in our way? Then why are we taking a coffee break? Because we have to make one more collection of power. And this one's gonna be a Miles Mayhem Stinger Special. Why are we cruising around, Dad? Yeah, what is this? The 50s? I'm trying to get the bullet train a clean bill of health. And I think I may have found the medicine. This could be the reason for the power failure in the bullet train and the city. Looks like a cyclone hit down there. There's no question about it. This damage was man-made. Some sort of vehicle destroyed that fence. Wow, must have been a bulldozer. Or worse, the bullet train's not the only reason we came to Japan. Venom's in the area. Think they're responsible for messing up the electricity? I think their tentacles go anywhere. Yeah, they're like dancing with an octopus. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look, what's that? Something's wrong with the power generator. Welcome to Tokyo, Blackout. And now a little to the left for your dessert. <laughs> Are we almost to Tokyo, Dad? Be there in a flash. We're going to land in a field near the airport. Far out. Right. When Koyo-san finds out the train's not causing the trouble, maybe he'll give us another ride. Yeah, and this time, no unscheduled stops. What's wrong? Either they're making a Japanese monster movie down there, or I need my vision checked. Attention, all incoming aircraft! Do not attempt to land! We are experiencing a power failure! Commence to circle at your present altitude. Repeat. Incredible. The airport has lost all its power. Venom. So now they're in the utility business, huh? You two, hide in that hangar. Surprised to see you, Mask. Hope you're feeling energetic. That thing's feeding on my lasers like a hungry wolf. Blackout, your performance has given me a real charge. T-Bob, wake up! T-Bob, please wake up! already a heavyweight in my book, Scott. But right now, I've got to assemble a mask team. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. 
Alex Sector, Computer and Communications Expert, Rhino Systems Commander, Planning Abilities Integral to the Operation, Bruce Sato, Mechanical Engineer and Design Specialist, Vehicle Code Name Rhino, Design Capabilities Could Come Into Play, Gloria Baker, Champion Race Driver, Black Belt in Kung Fu, Vehicle Code Name Shark, Excellent Driving Abilities Necessary, We received the details of the mission you piped into our computers, old chap. Well, we're still a long way from solving this one. There's only one man who could have created what we're up against. He worked on the bullet train. These are the blueprints of the machine. The businessman told me my invention would be used for good. How can a machine like that be used for good, Yamasan? Its original purpose was to draw power from one source and deliver it to any area with an electrical emergency. And I guess you believed he would use it for that. Like a child believes his father, the man said he was going to pay me two million dollars for building the machine. Instead, he stole it. Is there any way to shut it down? It would be like short-circuiting the sun. My invention is a single-minded shark in a sea of plenty. For every poison, there is an antidote. Perhaps a larger, more powerful machine. But it would take one single concentrated blast. You mean to overload its circuits? Yes. Sounds like the time you stuck a fork in the toaster, T-Bob. Yeah, that melted my circuits like butter. This is one time we don't have to play hide-and-seek with Venom. With their new weapon, they'll be knocking about boldly, thinking they're untouchable. And when giants meet, a storm will follow? You're on target, Bruce. We're gonna make our own high-voltage machine. That could be an electrifying experience for Venom. Yeah, and Alex and I have a way to plug them in. We call it Operation Horseshoe. Take a look. This represents Venom's machine. And these are Thunderhawk, Rhino, and Shark, forming a horseshoe around it. And this is T-Bob. T-Bob, you're going to be our leading man. Gee, I don't even have an agent. I think Dad means you're going to be an electrical conductor. Gosh, that doesn't sound too good. There you go, T-Bob. Splendid. You can magnify electricity threefold. Are you sure about this, Scott? No, but my dad is. I mean, that thing is a giant compared to me. Yeah, right, T-Bob. Just like David and Goliath. And remember, David won. Yeah, but I don't even have a slingshot. Just heard it on the radio. They say the power in Tokyo is being drained. And it's almost completely dark there. So let's shed a little light on the subject.
Welcome to my party. I hope you enjoy the punch. Alex, Bruce, Gloria, start the horseshoe. Let's try again. Our lightning rods are working. Tear this out of me, you light on your feet. Spectrum frequency alternator, on. What? I sent you first class and you come back parcel post. T-Bob, hurry! Get going, T-Bob! We'll put your name in lights after this! Oh, I may be lit up in just a second. What do they think they're doing? like to take Sunday drives? I guess because people think of Sunday as being bright and sunny. You know, Sunday. You should never ride two on a bike. Somebody could get hurt. Well, let's get back to our Sunday drive. Okay, T-Bob, but it's only Saturday.
Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids.